Alright, so anyway, virtual media part 4, I believe, so let's continue on modeling our wheel. Uh, in the last video, we done the nuts, and uh, in this video, we're gonna make nuts for the rim. So, all W. Let's create a cylinder here, in the middle. Give it a little bit of height. Uh, move that up. Okay, so. It's a little bit too big right now, so we need to scale it down. Uh, something like uh, a little bit bigger. Yeah, that looks fine. So 2.6.33. Uh, hit all Q for isolation mode, and uh, I'm gonna hit all W, so you could see better. That's gonna be a top. So. First, what we want to do is actually side it down to six. That's right. Uh, now, right click, convert to editable poly. Uh, select all of these. Mm, it's not gonna work that way, isn't it? Uh, select these three. A little bit. Uh, hold control, polygon mode, and uh, maybe let's just jump for this that's fine so select all of these control polygon oops sorry about that so loop them control polygon uh, and uh, just scale them out it's not gonna work that way isn't we need to ex extrude that out uh, local normal That's fine, and uh, we're gonna make an illusion. So, actually, let's do this. I just undo this illusion and uh, extrude that inwards. Something like so. Okay. Uh, delete the bottom part. You don't really need that. So just you won't be able to see that anyway. So just cap that up. That's fine. Uh, after that, uh, let's make a little inset here. Uh, loop the top and uh, chamfer. A little bit more, maybe something like. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, so we've got that like exit isolation mode. And uh, just let just let's try to place that somewhere. So click Z and uh, just. Move that down. Hockey panel. Effectively, it only sent the object. And I just move that down. Something like that. That looks good. And uh, uh, so hockey panel once again. Effectively, it only. Right click. You need to send it to Dream. That's right. And uh, again, tools array. In this case, we're going to use five. So, 5, rotate, and uh, 360, preview, make copies, okay, so just select one, right click, convert to, add the poly, and uh, attach all the other ones, oops, that's better, so after you've done that, just go to normal, hit M, Apply stand shader and uh, just apply black material. It's just optional, you'd have to do that, but I just prefer doing that. So, here with the wheel nuts, and uh, uh, now we can actually. That's a thing that's gonna be about it for this tutorial, just the wheel nuts, and uh, actually, let's go to the top view. I'm using shortcuts, it's very good, it's a good idea to actually sort out the shortcuts. So I'll create a cylinder in the middle. Okay. Go to perspective view. I'm just hitting P. And move that up or something like so. Uh increase that dramatically by about fifty, so we'd have to turbo no, actually eighteen. Okay, uh, height segments to zero, height as well, 
kill that down and the uh, alt Q for isolation mode and the uh, edible poly so let's make an inset like so move it upwards once again move that upwards and uh, let's just do it one more and, uh, just loop that and uh, chamfer it by about 0 0.2 and uh, loop Ch oops I see I can't loop that you can't loop it if you don't have nothing here so make at least one inset and now I can loop that I don't know why it does that, but it's quite annoying, so we just jump for wide signal mode and the exit isolation mode. So th that's what we got, just scale that down a little bit. And, uh, oops, select the whole object, scale it down. And the apply tables moving forward, it. so go down. Turbo smooth, okay. That's fine. Move to and just, oops, just zoom that up. Leave it like that, and uh, let's do the same with the shader. And what's gonna be is actually a logo. When we actually texturing the thing, we're gonna put a little logo here. So, yeah, this is the part 4 and uh, in the next video we'll be creating a simple very simple tire to go around it and uh, starting to add materials and uh, rendering so yes yeah, in the next video